Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial. Today we will take a look at how to perform a PD measurement with an HVA28 and a PD30E. This is a part of our video series regarding a complete PD measurement with this device configuration. Before you start measuring, make sure that you comply with all the safety regulations in force in your specific country and that you have familiarized yourself with the operating instruction of the devices as well as the safety instruction of the cost bending devices. Also become familiar with your measurement environment. It's mandatory to obey the five safety rules at all time. Switch off the device on the test, secure against re-energizing, discharge and proof dead, ground and short circuit and cover and close of nearby life parts. Now we start with our measurement. Please ground the far end of the not tested faces and apply the same rules for the faces to be tested on the far end as the near end like corona shields and the distance to other potential. The far end connections are not included in this video and will be included in a later video. In step 1 we connect all earth cables. The device under test. In this case L2 is our DOT, we short circuit L1 and L3. The HVA. and the PD30E. Please ensure that the earth connection between the PD30E and the DOT is as short as possible. In step 2 we connect all HV cables. First between the HVA and the PD30E Then we connect the HV test lead to the PD system. We recommend to use the impedance from the accessory. Between the PD30E and the DOT, please make sure to make the connection as short as possible. Depending on your DOT, special testing adapters may be needed. In this case we use a GIS testing adapter. For voltages from 50 kV, we recommend the use of Corona Shields. Now we connect in step 3 the power supply of the HVA and the PD30E or we use the battery mode of the PD30E. If the PD unit is connected to a power source, the battery is charging. In step 4 we connect the communication ports. First between the PC and the PD30E via USB cable. Then between the PC and the HVA28 via Bluetooth. Please note that this is only possible when the HVA28 is switched on. Do not switch on the HVA yet. In step 5 we verify that all connections are attached securely. Before you start with the measurement, please check that all cables are attached securely.
In the final step, step 6, we turn on the key switch to the on position and we are ready for the measurement. The PD device needs to be switched on in battery mode only. In case it's connected to mains, the device is switched on automatically and the switch can be left at the off position. In the next part of this video series, we show you how you can start a PD measurement. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about B2 and our products, please visit our website. And if you have any technical queries about your B2 device, please contact our technical support at support at b2hv.com